What's up you freaking geniuses? So in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to perform rotation transformations, all right? So in order to do this, we need to go over your rotation rules, all right? And there's basically two sets of rotation rules. One is for when you're rotating a shape in the counterclockwise direction, which is in this direction like that, and that's known as a positive rotation. And the other set of rules is when you're rotating stuff in the clockwise direction or in other words, in this direction, okay? And that's also known as a negative rotation, okay? And it's important to point out that these rotation rules are for when you're rotating a shape about the origin. And the origin, again, is just this point in the very center, right, at zero comma zero. All right, so I'm gonna show you how to rotate a shape uh, 90 degrees, 180 degrees, and 270 70 degrees in either direction, okay? And I know this looks like a complete mess, but it's actually a little easier to remember than you might think, okay? Because if you can remember just one set of rules, it's really easy to remember the other set, okay? Because if you can remember, for example, the set for these uh, three little coordinates for the counterclockwise direction, these three sets of coordinates going down is the exact same as these three sets of coordinates going up. Okay, and what the hell does that mean? Well, as you can see, this first coordinate right here is negative y comma x, right? And the first coordinate down here is negative y comma x, okay? In the middle over here, 180 degrees, you can see they're both the exact same, right? Negative x comma negative y, and this one's also negative x comma negative y, okay? And then this bottom one is y comma negative x, so then the one up top over here for clockwise is y comma negative x, okay? So again, if you can memorize one set, It'll be the same thing going down as it is going up. Okay, now, how do you actually go about rotating and using these rules right here, okay? Well, the first thing you have to do is just write down the coordinates of each of the points on whatever shape you're trying to rotate. So here we have a triangle, right? So we have three points, A, B, and C, okay? So we're going to write down the coordinates for these three right here, okay? So A right here is at one comma two, right? So A, is at one comma two, B is at two comma four, two comma four, and then C is at four comma two, all right, four comma two. Okay, now, let's say we were asked to rotate this triangle 90 degrees in the counterclockwise direction. Okay, well, I'm gonna come over to my little rules over here. So I'm going to rotate in the counterclockwise direction 90 degrees, right? So that means I'm gonna use this little rule right here negative y comma x, okay? So first of all, uh, these points right here that we just wrote down, they are in the form x comma y, right? But now, since we are going to rotate them, we're going to rotate them into, again, this rule right here, negative y comma x. Okay, so let's rotate this first point right here, a, uh, so it's at one comma two, okay? But when we rotate it or transform it, it's going to be at, as you can see, we are going to write the y coordinate first, right? So our y coordinate here is two. So we're gonna put a two here first, and we're also going to change the sign, okay? So over here, it's positive. So over here, it's going to be negative, all right? And then we're gonna write our x coordinate last. So our x coordinate here is a one. So we're gonna put a one right there, okay? So then let's do the same thing with b. So again, we're gonna write our y coordinate first and we're gonna flip the sign. So here, this is a positive four. So then here we're going to have negative four. And then uh, we're gonna have a two at the end, right? Our x coordinate. And then lastly, uh, c right here. Again, uh, write the y coordinate first. So that's a two and then flip the sign. So negative two. And then here we have uh, our x coordinate of four, okay? So then here's our three coordinates. So this coordinate right here is basically A prime, this coordinate right here is B prime, and this one is C prime, okay? So then we just have to graph these three points now, All right? So then uh, again, A prime's at negative two, one, right? So negative two, one is right there. B prime is at negative four, two, so negative four, two, and C prime is at negative two, four, right? Negative two, four. Okay, so again, that's C prime, this is B prime, and this is A prime. Okay, and then we just have to play connect the dots, right? So here is your triangle rotated in the counterclockwise direction 90 degrees. All right, so hopefully that wasn't too bad. Let's try another one. So here we have triangle FAT, all right? And this time, let's say we were asked to rotate it 180 degrees in the clockwise direction. Okay, so clockwise direction 180 degrees. And remember, 
180 degrees is the same exact thing for counterclockwise and clockwise, so it doesn't actually matter which one we use. But again, keep in mind, this is our starting position, so a 180 degree rotation should wind us up over here, right, on the opposite end. So the first thing you want to do is just write down your coordinates for each of these, right? So for F, A, and T. Okay, so first of all, F is at negative 7, negative 7, right? Negative 7, negative 7. A is at negative 4, negative 2, negative 4, negative 2. And T is at negative 3, negative 5, right? T is at negative 3, negative 5. Okay, and the rotation rule that we're going to use is this one right here, right? So negative x, negative y. So remember, we're starting as x comma y, right? That's how we always start. And then in this case, we're going to transform it to that, right? Negative x, negative y. Okay, so this is going to be easy. All we have to do is change the signs on each of our x and y's, right? It's still going to stay as x, y, like normal, but we're just going to change the signs on all of them. Okay, so then, for example, uh, here we have f is at negative 7, negative 7. So then f prime is going to be at positive 7, positive 7, right? Now a is at negative 4, negative 2, so a prime is going to be at positive 4, positive 2, okay? And then lastly we have uh, t right here at negative 3, negative 5, so then t prime is going to be at positive 3, positive 5, right? So then we just have to graph these really quick, so uh, f prime is at 7, 7, right? So 7, 7, a is at 4, 2, so 4, 2, uh, that's A prime, right, that's F prime, and then T is at 3, 5, so 3, comma, 5, all right, so that's T prime, all right. Then the last thing you have to do is connect the dots, boom, 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 all right. So here is your triangle rotated in the clockwise direction, boom, 180 degrees. Okay, so here's the last example. So we have this quadrilateral, and let's say we were asked to rotate this 270 degrees in the counterclockwise direction, all right? Well, first of all, you can see that this shape right here, it crosses the x-axis and the y-axis, right? So it's not in its own, like, little quadrant anymore. So it's going to be a little more difficult to tell if we rotated it correctly, but we're still going to just use our rotation rule, all right? So our rotation rule for 270 degrees uh, in the counterclockwise direction is this one right here. So y comma negative x, right? So again, we always start as x comma y, right? And then we're going to transform it to uh, y comma y comma negative x. Okay, so let's write down our points. So first of all, s right here, uh, s is at negative one comma one, i is at zero comma negative two, right? Zero comma negative two. Uh, let's see, m is at two comma negative one. m is at two comma negative one. And then lastly, p over here is at two comma four. Okay, two comma four. All right, so then we're going to switch this one. So here, uh, we're gonna write the y coordinate first, right? So the y coordinate here is one, so it just stays as one. And then we're going to write our x coordinate and flip the sign. Okay, so here we have a negative one. So over here, it's going to turn into positive one. Okay, now here, uh, same thing. We're going to write our y coordinate first, which is a uh, let's change it to green negative two. And then uh, our x coordinate, change the sign. But we just have a zero here, so it's just going to stay a zero. There's no sign on zero. And then m right here. So again. Uh, write the y coordinate first, so negative 1, right, negative 1, and then change the sign on your x coordinate, so it's going to be a negative 2 over here. And then lastly, p right here, uh, our y coordinate is 4, and our x coordinate is a 2, but we're going to flip the sign, so it's going to be negative 2. Okay, so uh, here we have s prime, here we have i prime, then m prime, and p prime. Okay, so let's graph these right here. So s prime is at 1 comma 1, um, i prime is at negative 2 comma 0, negative 2 comma 0, and let's label these s prime, i prime, and then m prime is at negative 1, negative 2, right, negative 1, negative 2, that's m prime, and then p prime is at 4, negative 2, right, 4, negative 2.
All right, and then again, the last thing you do is just connect the dots uh, right there. Okay, so we just rotated this shape 270 degrees in the counterclockwise direction. So if you found the video helpful, definitely leave a thumbs up down below. And if you have any other questions or want to see any other examples, just let me know in the comment section below.